Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video I'll be showing you how Divi can help you guide visitors through long pages. We'll be doing this through the use of dot navigation, accordions and also tabs. So without wasting a lot of time let me show you how we managed to create this. To achieve our goals for this tutorial, we're going to use a set of native features and modules to help us guide our readers through our content. So the first thing I want to do is to log into my WordPress admin dashboard and choose a page that has quite a few sections. Now I have a page that I've already created and in fact this page uh, can be downloaded for free in our, on our resources. I'll leave the link to this page in the comments box below. Okay, so here is the page that we need to take a look at. In fact, let's have a quick view so you can see what it looks like. So this is the page that we've created and to navigate through this page, you have to scroll down. Okay, so we're gonna improve this. So by coming back over here, what we're gonna do is we're going to activate the dot navigation. So I'm gonna come over here right now or by default, it's set to off. So you need to come over here and set it to on. And then once you've done that, click on update. Okay, so now that it's updated, all I have to do now is to refresh this page and we should see that dot navigation guide here. So now what you can do is to navigate through your sections, you can click this dot and this dot signifies a section on your page. So you can see as I click it, it goes to that section like that. In our next example, we are going to use the tabs module to separate our content. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is to create a new page and this can also work on a post. So I'm gonna come over here and click on add new. We're gonna just call this page tabs. Click on use the Divi Builder. Now you can either use our legacy builder here or you can use the visual builder. It doesn't really make a difference, but I prefer using the visual builder. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on use visual builder. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is to add a column. So I'm gonna click on a single column and then I'm gonna add the module. The module that we need is the tabs. So we can see it's right here. Okay, brilliant. So we can straight away start adding our tabs. So I'm just gonna click this plus button and I'm gonna paste my content in here. And you can see straight away my content is now in this area. So finally, what we need to do is to add the title to that. So I'm just gonna copy a bit of this text here and use that as my title. And by the way, I'm just using dummy text for now. Okay, so now that I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna save that, come back over here. Now, instead of me going through the whole process of setting it all up, you can see that we have this button right here. This is the duplicate button. So we, by clicking this, you can see that our tabs have not been duplicated and they're now added in there. So what you could do is if you have different type of content, you can always go into this gear icon and then adjust your content or paste the new content that you need as well as changing the title. Okay, so now that we have all three tabs, I'm just gonna go ahead and save. So instead of having all this text all going down in a long format, uh, we can have it in different tabs like this. So as I click the tab, it reveals the content in that tab. In our next example, we are going to be using accordions. So the accordions are very similar to tabs with three major differences being that the content appears in a vertical list. So to add these, in fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and add it just below this. So I'm gonna add a new section, regular section. And uh, as before, I'm just gonna use a single row and I'm gonna choose accordion and it's right here, right at the top. Okay, so I'm gonna add an item by clicking the plus button. And as before, I'm just gonna paste my content in here. So this goes as my title. And then I'm gonna add some more text in here. So I'm gonna paste my content and then I'm gonna save. And then as we've done before, here is the duplicate button. So if we click this a few times, we can see now that uh, we're adding more items to our accordion. So you can always go in and change the content by clicking this gear icon and then adjusting your text. Okay, so now that I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and save. Okay, now, uh, let me just save out of this page so I can show you how this page works. So I'm gonna publish it and then exit the Visual Builder. 
Okay, so by default, one of these is open. And then when you click this little plus button or anywhere on this area, it opens and reveals the content in that area. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce a video. We are going to be producing more videos similar to what you're seeing today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.